Hey everyone, welcome to another weekly vlog and happy Friday. So I'm back in this position starting the vlog again at my desk. Hair isn't done, makeup is done, so I'm halfway there. And I am in a bit of a rush today. I somehow just managed to mess up. I didn't think about the fact that this evening, like from early evening, we've got quite a lot going on. And I need to get the Disney vlog finished for tomorrow. Normally I have it done way ahead of that, but I just don't this week. I was editing other videos and this morning for some reason i got up and decided to start doing some tidying and organizing and stuff like that I, I i guess i just didn't think about the fact that my plans this evening start at five so that's not going to leave me a lot of time so i had to abandon that halfway through i will show you like what i've been doing later and uh yeah get myself ready and now i am editing this vlog <laughs> And at 5 p.m. we have a call with Ian's family. We've been doing like a weekly call, um, usually on a Thursday when they have the online quiz that I've shown you in the vlogs before. Um, but last night, Ian and I had the Patreon only live stream. And um, we do that once a month and that is always planned like several months in advance. So we couldn't do yesterday. So we're doing that today. Then almost immediately after that, I have a main channel live stream over on Disney in detail, like the ordinary ones on YouTube that I've been doing. And then we have a grocery shop turning up between 9 and 10 p.m. It's kind of all go. It has been <sighs> unbelievable to me how quickly time is going being in lockdown. Like, I have actually been isolating um, for 44 days today. So I had that cough when I came back from Orlando. And um, you remember my mum came to visit and it was since that, so since my mum was here, is when I really started not going out. And of course, then the lockdown came in when you weren't allowed to go out, <laughs> unless it's obviously essential. So um, you would think by this point, I would be climbing the walls and finding it like impossible to stay at home. And don't get me wrong, I am looking forward to doing things again, just simple things, going to a movie or whatever. Um, but... It's actually fine because honestly, if I looked back and it had only been two weeks, I would believe it. Like it doesn't feel anywhere near that amount of time. My days are flying by. Um, I guess we've been doing more live streams and I've still got all my editing to do. And yeah, the days are going by quicker than ever. So I'm not going to complain because obviously being in lockdown is no fun for the most part. But yeah, the days have been going so fast. I've got you balanced here again <laughs> I'm on, on my desk. You're kind of, you know, the backboard bit that you can see in the live streams. You're just kind of planted on the tripod in among all my notebooks. I feel like this could be like chatty cam. This is the chatty cam spot because when I'm busy and I have to be editing, but also trying to talk to you guys in the vlog, um, this is what we're doing. So like I say, it's not the best lighting in the world. Sorry if you can hear the fan on the laptop as well, because that's still going. Um, and I think I'm about two thirds of the way through this video. It's a fairly easy one to edit. It's our day, our day? I was there on my own. It was a solo trip, my day in um, Universal that I did. So it's, yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. It's fairly easy to do. And I have a new lipstick on today. I meant to, oh, is it in the other room? It's the new Maybelline one that I've been talking about. I think I spoke about that. Oh, I put it on in the Get Ready With Me in the last vlog. And it's the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour. Normally I use Perpetual Rose, but I decided to try it in a different shade. And because it's next door, I will put it on the screen what color this is. It's supposed to be, well, it is red, as you can see. I wanted like a really, really true red to wear, mainly when I'm in Florida. That's when I normally wear red with like my play suits that have Oh, that was loud. Sorry, something really loud just drove past. Um, yeah, to go with play suits that have like red in them. And this formula of this lipstick is ridiculous. Like it stays on so well. If I show you on, yeah, let's take a sip out of my, so this cup is white, as you can see. And look, I think there is like, the tiniest little trace i don't even know if you can see it but it doesn't leave any lipstick marks or anything it is unbelievable it really really stays on like nothing i've ever tried and the shades are really nice so i love this one it's a little bit it looks mainly red on camera it's a tiny bit on the pink side of red it's not a true red it's certainly not an orangey red it's if anything it's got a bit of a pink look to it but you know for the most part it still does look red and they do have a couple of different shades that i could probably try but yeah this lipstick i will link it in the description 
if you want something that's going to stay on it's amazing and they do lighter colors as well it's not only bold colors so yeah i've been really pleased with this and what else has been going on i'm just trying to think if you've missed anything in the last few days um no not really <laughs> there's been a few updates online about not updates but this kind of task force who are looking into when things can reopen in the states obviously similar things are going on in every country in terms of like getting the economy going and retail outlets opening again and businesses and all that kind of thing and i know that there's a kind of specific one um for florida and disney specifically there's people who work for disney bob Iger, i think is involved and people are speculating they haven't said anything yet and Tim Tracker actually put a really interesting video up. I will link it in the description with their thoughts about what will happen. And it's like he was saying, as soon as you think of a solution to one issue, it throws up another for the most part. And I think, to be honest, the problem, when it really, really boils down to it, there's all sorts of different things that you can think about and look at. The things in my mind that need to happen excuse all this mess behind me as well this and this is what i was talking about earlier with um <laughs> starting something that i couldn't finish in terms of tidying um yeah the things in my mind that need to happen wearing face masks i think needs to happen i think it needs to be mandatory that people are wearing masks i know a lot of people have an opinion on that but for me the problem is other people coughing so i understand that they're saying in certain cases they don't think it stops you from getting it but certainly if people are coughing they need to be wearing a mask and you can't pick and choose who wears one so really i personally would feel more comfortable if everyone was wearing a mask so that if anyone did cough anywhere near me that they they have a mask on so that that's something that that's just my personal opinion everyone's opinion is different um but that's one thing and lowering of park capacity i really just don't see any way even if they put into place things like um going cashless so that everything has to be paid like you know with your card you don't have to hand it to anyone even if they have social distancing on rides so they're only filling like every other row even if they have virtual queues so that you are not stood right next to somebody else all of those things are great but if they let too many people into the park then as you're walking around the park it, it's just not going to work there are going to be people getting too close to you and yeah they they need to reduce um how many people they allow in and i just don't know how they do that because obviously you think who is allowed in then and tim made a good point and he is an annual pass holder as am i um he was saying that he thinks they need to not let annual pass holders in to start off with because annual pass holders are like the unknown number like you don't know how many annual pass holders could turn up on a given day because they don't have a hotel reservation and um, they haven't purchased like a separate ticket they just have like a ticket that lasts for the whole year and that would be difficult because if you let all the annual pass holders in then people who are staying in hotels and have purchased a ticket or are there on vacation they then wouldn't be allowed in so i don't know it's really hard i mean if that happened and it was the case that i wonder whether it would be something like people with resort reservations and tickets can go in because if you had an annual pass but you had a resort reservation they would then know what numbers they're looking at so say they decided to fill the disney resorts half full and you were only allowed into the parks if you were staying at a resort then they would know how many people that's likely to be and then if it doesn't get full they could then let a few other people in i don't know it just however you look at it it just isn't fair on a certain group of people um but equally you can't have people traveling for a vacation and then not being able to get into the park like that's not gonna work so i don't know i would not want to be in any way having to try and figure all of this out it's just so crazy and i did have a tough couple of days when i was thinking about all of that because it's just it's just depressing it really is obviously everything that's happening is horrendous any news you hear of people suffering losing loved ones all of that is so much more important and disney pales into insignificance in comparison to that and i do know that and i'm not under any <laughs> impression that disney is important in the grand scheme of things but it's like we've said to everyone in the live streams like it's okay to be upset if you saved for two years for a trip and you were looking forward to it so much and then you had to cancel like that's really 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 upsetting 
and I'm not in that position thankfully I was only there in February and I feel very fortunate for that but as you know Disney is a huge part of my life it's my channel it's what I do and it, yeah it's tough it is tough and I for the most part I have it in perspective and then I'll have a couple of days where I just feel so like flat about the whole thing but anyway onwards and upwards there's nothing to be done apart from getting through it the live streams have been helping us so much as well as a lot of you guys I know are really enjoying them so that's really good also I've spent all morning and a lot of yesterday afternoon watching Erin Condren videos because the people who were given the PR box with the new stuff in have all uploaded their content so I've watched like almost everyone's different even though they're all showing the same thing um just to figure out what I want to get I am anticipating my finances taking a hit <laughs> when this launch happens uh, but it's once a year i do sometimes order stuff throughout the year but the big order i place is always for the launch so yeah it's it's yeah there's a lot of stuff that i want to get i'm trying to be sensible but it's the one area where i just find it very hard to be sensible and just totally lose it and want everything anyway i've been talking for about 15 minutes what the heck <laughs> so i'm gonna go finish this editing sort my hair out and I will see you in a bit. So exciting moment. Yes. The Biscoffy is going into the grinder. We probably won't put too much in. Because no, we'll just do a little check. I'm slightly face. concerned that Ian won't be that keen on it because I've got a feeling it might have a bit of sweetness to it, which the other ones don't. Um, but he's going to give it a go. Yeah. Do you need oh, scissors? It does. Do you need scissors? It smells really sweet. Smell that. Oh, that smells amazing. <laughs> oh, dream. Okay, I've really not You have really this messed well. messed that up there. And it's gonna work, but I can't wait to smell the like when it's grinding yeah. the beans. Right, should we oh. start with that much? Yeah. Sorry, this is gonna be loud when we switch it on. <laughs> it's quite loud. Yeah, the coffee grinder is pretty loud. I'll turn down the volume on that particular <laughs> bit. Maybe you can put some nice music over it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it actually smells less um, sweet, kind of, when... So there it is. There we go. Okay, moment of truth. Here we go with the Biss coffee. I am excited. Ooh, that is good. That's really interesting. It's not sweet at all. It is basically the way I describe biscuit brew, where it tastes a little tiny bit like biscuits, but it's not sweet. It's kind of the same. Obviously this is based on Biscoff, so it's more like cinnamony caramel kind of taste rather than like a malted biscuit taste that you get with biscuit brew tea. Um, but this is so good. Mm. I was actually worried that it was going to be sweet and I know that Ian wouldn't like that but I bet he does enjoy that I'll ask him um, on camera later if he enjoyed it that's so good later so time has passed and we're just about to get ready to do a call with Ian's family today has just been so busy it's crazy and it's only going to get worse because I have to um, do the live stream and figure out when to like eat and stuff as well but never mind and I'm a little bit shook by this lipstick so this is the one I was talking about earlier the Maybelline one since putting this on i have um had about three or four drinks of varying descriptions and i ate a sandwich <laughs> and as you can see it's still pretty good it's the tiniest tiniest bit of fade right in the middle but like barely anything it's so crazy and it doesn't feel like a matte lipstick it, like it it is a kind of matte finish it's not like glossy but you can put the balm stuff back over the top to give it a glossier look but it just doesn't budge i'm like amazed it is my new favorite and it's drugstore which is a massive pro so i think i might get it in some more shades i think ian isn't quite ready yet he's had a really busy day working he's still working so he might be a few minutes late onto the call but um we're doing it especially early today because i've got the live stream and there's various different things going on so Yes, that is today, but the vlog is finished. The Disney vlog is done and is exporting as we speak. So I'm just waiting for Ian to be finished with his work. He's a few minutes late, so um, I'm just waiting to get on the call with him. And, well, I say with him, he's here. Call with his family, with him here, if that makes sense. 
and I felt like I needed a drink. I'm not normally one for drinking alcohol at home, but I do have this cider, which is the one that came in the Degusta box. I really can't pronounce it. Scoli, I guess, I don't know. And it's the Crips Pink Craft Cider. So let's give this a whirl. Oh, yeah, that's quite nice. Mmm, that is nice. It's not too sweet. Some of the fruity ciders sometimes can be a bit sweet, but this is just like a craft cider. Nice. Eventually. Okay, it's grocery haul time. So our Asda order just arrived. It's like 9.15, so it's quite a late one at night. And we've got strawberry Diet Coke, some potatoes, bread rolls. Finally, for the first time in weeks and weeks and weeks, some soap <laughs> luckily we've had like um other soap we can use like bars of soap i managed to get but we have some liquid soap some greek yogurt some cheese then strawberries some cherry tomatoes cucumber and lettuce for salads and some leeks some vine tomatoes i use these for my risottos then chicken we will probably use for ian's curry some carrots bread gravy granules and Ian um, wanted to have some of these flaming hot watsits this week and we've got some salt and vinegar hula hoops milk my biscuit brew got substituted with this strong breakfast brew so I don't know what that's like we will see then sugar for baking granola to go with my Greek yogurt I had trouble with my frosting the other day for the cupcakes so I got some of this fudge icing some water chestnut some vegetable stock pots I normally have the nor ones but they were out of stock so I've got these Asda ones barbecue sauce um this was actually a substitute i normally just ordered the asda one and they substituted it with this and shampoo which i was out of and that's everything good morning and happy tuesday i have to think what day it is there these vlogs are all over the place at the moment in terms of which days i'm vlogging when the vlog is going up um it just depends from week to week what is going on um i haven't done my hair yet so excuse that <laughs> but i wanted to just update you i haven't vlogged the last few days and um, there really hasn't been much going on at all and at the moment i'm really just picking up the camera when there is something to report so today we are going to be doing a live stream this evening i've been editing the um, vlog on how to make mini ears so i'm not sure when that will be going up exactly and then i've got a few other things to do i need to package the next batch of patreon um, supporter pins that we give away on patreon um those need to go out soon so i've got to do that and we're just taking a break at the moment and having some lunch i am having yogurt strawberries and granola for lunch which is kind of a weird thing to have for lunch but it's just what i felt like and i'm just taking a break while i that i've started watching belgravia which someone suggested to me it was always oh, ian's mum suggested it to me and that's actually really good i've been playing tons of animal crossing i'm obsessed with it i will show you some of that later uh, so yeah it's just been much of the same really as it is for everyone just still in lockdown the weather has turned really horrible we've really had amazing weather for weeks and now it is rainy gray and dreary but there you go we can't get out and about much anyway so i guess this is the time for the weather to be bad so i'm gonna have my lunch and then i will come back to you to keep you updated with what i'm doing later so ian is currently outside doing some gardening i guess <laughs> getting rid of weeds and stuff oh he's disappeared now so he's spraying the weed killer he's brought up all the weeds if you can hear a lot of cars it's because we've got the window open and we've been putting off doing this for eight Ages. So I've been gearing up for receiving my new Erin Condren planner by buying some stickers. You guys know I can never resist stickers and whenever I'm getting a new planner I like to have new stickers to go with it. I have ordered some with my Erin Condren order but I like to get some from Etsy stores as well so I just wanted to show you what I've got. I've already cut this sheet in half um, this is from Ickle and Co. I've never actually used this sticker shop before, but I wanted to get some other ones, which I'll show you in a sec. And they also had these YouTube play buttons. So I thought these would be perfect just for marking my planner when a video is going to be uploaded. But this is the reason I ordered from this shop. Look how beautiful these Mickey head stickers are. I wanted these for when I'm planning my Disney trips. And I'm going to give you an updated video of that once we know when I'm actually going to be traveling again. I will show you in my petite planner, which is what I'm using at the moment for travel planning. I will show you how I do all that, but I'd run out of Mickey head stickers. And I really wanted a shop that sells in the UK just because it's cheaper for postage. And I found these and they're so pretty. They're kind of, I mean, they are like a specific color. So that works for how I use them, but they're just really this kind of pretty 
marbling effect i love them i absolutely love these and i've looked through their shop and there's a bunch more that i like so i probably will at some stage place another order with them then this order is of course from happy cutie studio this is one of my favorite sticker shops on etsy i have so many stickers from this shop i just absolutely love them you always get a little sampler sheet and this little sticker you put onto your loyalty card um this is one of the loyalty cards i do already have one that's got several on i forget what you actually get 20 percent off when you filled your card and i think my card has already got three or four on it so i'm almost there to get a discount at some stage and they always have just these super cute little cards that you can use for like journaling and stuff and it always has the month on the back then i got more of these edit stickers i use these all the time i like that they're small so they're perfect for not taking up too much space and usually this vlogger sticker sheet comes with film edit and upload but i always just put a note in the um order to say can i have a whole sheet of edit because these are the ones i use the most so i've got more of those these ones are travel related and i bought a bunch of travel related stickers just because i'm thinking ahead of when i can look forward to things again and i want to be able to mark all kinds of different travel not just my florida trips so these ones are train tracker stickers where i can put like a train time in there if i'm taking a train anywhere then i've got some more of these countdown flag stickers for counting down to trips i've got some of these with little trainers on um just so i can mark when i'm going to do my little workouts because i have started doing just some short workouts i'm not very good at working out but at the moment with being indoors so much I feel like that's important so I got those just so I can mark that in my planner. Then I've got some little buses as you know I quite often get National Express buses places when I'm going to visit my mum when we're meeting up in Birmingham stuff like that and um, so I got these cute little buses obviously can't use them at the moment but hopefully someday soon. I got another sheet of countdown stickers because I've got more than one trip that I'm planning for and these are really cute they've just got the little I think this um, koala is called Coco that she um, illustrates and this is a one month countdown so you're counting down days with that one then i got more of these i love these weekend stickers look how amazing these are they're foiled and they're rainbow foil i mean seriously i love them then i have these which are hotel stickers so when i plan my disney trips in my planner um i thought these would be really cool for just writing down when i'm checking in and out of hotels because as you know i do tend to move around then i have similar ones for flights where you can put your flight information in there and i got a sheet of these meal plan stickers so you use one of these per week and I can just write down what I'm making for meals. I just want to be a bit better at pre-planning what we're going to have. So I thought these were cute. And finally, I got these little admin stickers. These are to use in my planner when I've just got kind of general admin that I need to do. And then I can put a list of what those things are underneath. So just things like replying to emails, little kind of random things that don't fall into any other categories. And they are the silver kind of sparkle. It's hard to tell on camera. They're really, really pretty. This shop has several different types of foil colours and like the sparkly and the rainbow. They're just so pretty. I absolutely cannot recommend this sticker shop enough. I will link it below. I just, yeah. I love them they're amazing hey guys so it's later on now and we're just getting ready to do the live stream i'm in full haunted mansion mode i have my haunted mansion ears haunted mansion spirit jersey i am the ghost host and also i have my haunted mansion mug so we're just getting ready ian is almost ready as well i think we've got maybe like 10 15 minutes or something so yeah we're gonna do that and i'll catch you up in a bit so i said i would show you a bit of animal crossing i think there is a proper way to film yourself playing but i'm just showing you guys briefly my island so this is my little house my little garden i've got some tiki torches which i like having on at night and then over here i've got my little swing chair so i can look out at the ocean which is very cute and I'm fairly new to this game I know a lot of people have got really advanced um little towns going on oh I've got my little um, bonfire pit on the beach there but I'm like I say fairly new this is the museum the museum is really awesome I love just running around in here and one of the things that you do in the game is collect fossils and animals fish bugs all that kind of thing to put in the museum so you can see lots of fossils that I've donated in here and then there's like a whole nother section i won't go through all of it right now i'll just show you our new gallery which has just been started so up here is the gallery 
So this has just opened up today. As you can see, it needs a lot more stuff, but I did donate this painting the other day. And you sit on your little seat here if you want to. Just hang out. Not that you do much hanging out in Animal Crossing. I'm usually running around busy. And this is Blathers, who you give all your um, artwork and stuff to, but he's asleep. He does get a bit mad if you speak to him during the day. <laughs> then obviously you've got your beach down here. I've just been planting some new palm trees. They're getting bigger every day. And you collect all these little bits and pieces, like the shells and stuff. And you do some fishing. And then you can sell those items. There's like various... There's so many different things. And basically this game is just a really relaxing game. I'm not really into video games at all. But I find this like my little escape. I look forward every day to going to my little island, making things better, improving it. This is going to be the town hall. It's under construction at the minute. Then we've got our little shop over here. So you can go in here and buy stuff and sell stuff. So here are the little the little guys. I think actually there's something in here that I need to buy. <laughs> That's how the, the little animals sound. So like there's things you can get. I needed to buy a slingshot and Brogan told me earlier that this is where I go to get it. So that's that. Uh, no, we don't want anything else, I don't think. Thank you. They do follow you around. Sorry, I need to leave. Ah, And then you've got your little bridge. At first you have to jump across using a little vaulting pole but now we've got our bridge and then you can chop wood off the trees and collect branches which you make tools out of and some of the trees have fruit on them most of my fruit trees are not around here as you can see we've got more beach over here if you need to go over water you can use your vaulting pole which is the way you used to have to get across before we had a bridge and then this is your pockets where you have all your your tools and things so you can pick things up, put them away when you don't need them and you collect things in there. So if you catch like a bug or a fish, it goes, oh, there's some uh, peaches on that tree. And these houses are all my fellow islanders. One of them's taking a nap there on his hay bale. And I helped to build all these houses. I had to collect lots of materials and put them outside, like all this furniture and stuff. This is where Cherry lives. She's probably my sort of most talk to islander i speak to her all the time and she's been there since the very beginning all of these people are new and there's a you can talk to you oh he doesn't want to talk to me hello there we go they say like little random things but you do need to talk to your fellow islanders as part of the game oh and i think we need to catch that balloon now we've got our slingshot eventually your tools do break Yay! So you have to make a new one, basically. Let's see what that little gift was. 5,000 bells! Bells is like the currency. I've actually got quite a lot of money here at the minute because I've been selling a lot of stuff. So yeah, you get the gist anyway. That's basically what the game is. It's just a relaxing, nice game. It's whatever pace you want it to be. You can create your little town. I absolutely love it and I'm not a video game person at all and I'm just... Oh, I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. So I think that's going to be it from me. I just got really sleepy there. I was just finishing up some stuff, writing in my planner, and I could feel myself drifting off to sleep. So I'm going to head to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was a short one this week, but hey ho, this is lockdown. Um, there's not loads going on all the time. So yeah, I hope you still enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I've got all my live streams going on over on Disney in Detail that I'm doing with Ian and we're really enjoying doing those. And just thank you so much for all of your support over on Patreon, all your support on those live streams, joining us, chatting Disney. It's been really, really fun. And also for watching over here as well, as always. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in the next one.